In this video, we will look at the internal structures of the heart, starting with the right atria. So inside the right atria, we can see the opening to the superior vena cava, the inferior vena cava, and the coronary sinus that returns blood from the coronary circulation. We can also see in here the fossa ovalis that would be between the right and left atria. We can see some pectinate muscles here on the inside of the atrial wall. And as we pass into the right ventricle, we can see that tricuspid valve. The tricuspid valve has a few parts. These little strings here are called chordae tendinae, and they will pull on the leaflets of the valve to help close it. To do that, we have these three papillary muscles right here, the red part. Those are going to contract and pull on the chordae tendinae to allow the valve to shut. Inside of the right ventricle itself, we can see these bumpy lines. These are called trabeculae carnae and allow for more stretch in the ventricle when it receives blood. We can also see this white line here that is part of our cardiac conduction system. These are called the Purkinje fibers. Exiting the right ventricle, we can see here is the pulmonic semilunar valve entering into our pulmonary trunk. This will branch into the pulmonary arteries and send the deoxygenated blood to the lungs. The blood will go to the lungs and then return to our left atria via four pulmonary veins. Here we see two of them. Once we enter that left atria, we then will pass through the bicuspid valve, again having chordae tendinae and papillary muscles, into that left ventricle, and you can also see those Purkinje fibers here as well. This large septum that separates the right and left ventricle is our interventricular septum. And if we look deeper inside of the left ventricle, we can see our aortic semilunar valve that is the entrance to the aorta.